Well, leaders are taking action against a controversial store on the main line. However, some fear that damage may already be done. The CBD Kratom Cannabis Dispensary recently opened in Wayne. Many believe the owners kept its product and signage under wraps until it opened and did that on purpose. Residents were vocal tonight, not wanting this store and demanding answers from commissioners. Alicia Roberts attended that meeting for us, so what did they decide? Good evening. Well, good evening to you, Yuki. That's right. Well, to start, those residents are asking that these huge display signs plus the sign out front be taken down or covered up immediately. They say these images have been shared over and over on social media, and residents tell us that they will not tolerate this company's attempts to ask for forgiveness instead of permission. Had no idea that was coming in. Not open for business. They didn't ask for permits. They didn't abide by our code and our ordinances to open the, the building. CBD Kratom Cannabis Dispensary on Lancaster Avenue in Wayne forced to close just days after it opened under what many say was an intentional cover of darkness. Apparently they came in, uh, did their work with the um, with the, the windows all covered. Monday night, concerned parents came out wondering how this could even happen, especially within walking distance of several local schools. How did a store that sells substances that are banned in 19 states literally open illegally next to two schools, three nursery schools, and local churches without anyone knowing about it? While CBD and Kratom are both legal in Pennsylvania, Kratom, a plant known for its pain relieving properties and promoted as an aid in overcoming opioid withdrawal, is not regulated by the FDA. Many caution that even the sign out front is already negatively impacting this community. Every day that sign is up, another day a child learns about these harmful products. While the township has said that sign must come down until the business receives proper approvals to open, many are now asking township leaders to block this business from being allowed to operate in the future. They have to let people know that they will lose their investment when they um, act this way in this township. Now, in a statement to CBS3, the owners of CBD Kratom say they are, quote, working diligently to resolve all permit issues with township leaders. Reporting live in Radnor Township, Alicia Roberts, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Alicia, thank you.